Young sports talk worldwide with some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. <laughs> oh man, I have to laugh. You know, I'm gonna just tell y'all what I'm laughing at. I was just laughing at anybody knows the Sugar Ray Leonard Thomas Hearns first fight, right? And um, you know, Thomas Hearns come in the fight. Had knocked out pretty much everybody, you know. And Sugar Ray was Sugar Ray, you know. I think he only had lost to Duran at that point. For only that, maybe I'm not sure. But Sugar Ray was basically either undefeated or only one loss. But you know, your boy Thomas Hearns was menacing, knocking people out in cold and stuff like that. Pino Cuevas and stuff like that. Boom, out. You know, so you come in a fight with Sugar Ray Leonard and was you know chasing him around the ring, front footing him. You know, Shane Ray had to get his best dancing out and was dancing all around trying to, you know, see if he can get him from the outside. But that wasn't working either because Thomas Hearns could box himself. Long arms, range. He just had that one-punch knockout power that you had to respect. You know, Shane Ray literally got beat up by eight, nine rounds. And I got big and he had to go into survival mode, which means I got to go with best defense is good offense. Put them hands up and start walking down uh Thomas Hearns. That's why I had to laugh because all of a sudden you just see a different Thomas Hearns start back foot in the rest of the fight. So sometimes when I think about that, that's kind of funny. Now, to the point, we're going up to these heavyweights. Uh, you know, March Madness, the main one, you know, Joseph Parker, Anthony Joshua. It's a little Joseph Parker news right here. We're both, to be honest with you. Joseph Parker is pissed right now. Okay, he's angry a little bit. Because he tried to shake Anthony Joshua's hand after the final press conference. Anthony Joshua brushed it to the side and said, I ain't shaking your hand. Boom. I ain't talking to your press. I ain't shaking your hand. Although Joshua came back and said the press thing was because he had other things he had to do. Wasn't really disrespectful. Who knows? But he didn't talk to the Samoan press or the New Zealand press media, right? So now he ain't shaking nobody's hand. Go ahead. Joshua look mad now. You know, so I don't know. How, how you want to take this. You know, sometimes I'm just thinking, I hope his skin ain't that thin. Because these guys are basically gentlemen. The only thing they say is you got a weak chin. You know, the, your opponent's going to think he has some kind of way to beat you. If you were worried about this, like I said before, if his skin is this thin, he better not be trying to mess with ever, ever with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury wins fights outside of the ring. He beat up Vladimir Klitschko before he got in the ring with him on the build-up. You, if you can't take the mental warfare, you're gonna be a, it's going to be a problem eventually. Maybe not now. Maybe not even this fight. But if he's so upset by the little comments from these little guys, you ain't, you know, people, I've told you, people got bit before Tyson. Larry Donald got hit by Bo. People got Chizura don't spit on people. They've had gates between Chizura and David Hay because somebody got glassed. It's bigger things that happen than somebody just saying your chin is sweet. That's basically when they don't have too much others to say. They're going to say something. So I'm just hoping his skin's not that thin. It reminds me of comedians. You know how comedians, they make a living on talking about people and laughing. Somebody say something about them, then all of a sudden they get, you want to sue somebody. You know, then when I find out of stuff like that, then I don't like them no more. I ain't laughing at no more your jokes because you can't seem to take one about yourself. That's, that's something wrong with you then. Right? So that's the kind of thing I'm thinking. So at the end of the day, it's just more fuel on the fire. Joseph Parker, a gentleman. Anthony Joshua, a gentleman, I guess. You know, we're seeing a little different sides. But, you know, it's still some beef, really. We ain't even shaking hands with this little bit. <laughs> Let's see what happens going forward. But I thought that was important. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.